Hey there, it's Big Tony here at Natchee coming at you with a little uh, crate opening action. Um, I don't have a lot of coins here, guys, so we're just going to do a, a, a couple quick ones for you. And uh, here we go. 5,000 needle components. That's not bad. Uh, a lot of components in these uh, new updates, and they've, I mean, completely nerfed the operations pass. Ooh, there I get a, there, there we go. I get a silver one there. Uh, so I'm not going to be getting a lot of coins, and uh, we're not getting coins from the creator program, so... You're not going to see a lot of crate openings unless we're buying them, and I don't plan on buying that many. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here at this one. What we got? Okay, I got a spike. I can sell that. Uh, this will, in turn, whittle down a lot of resources, guys, because I like to sell a lot of this stuff for, uh, you know, for silver. Not going to be seeing that much anymore, so I'm not going to be level being able to level up as much as I used to, because I used to really rely on this stuff. And I'm not going to be investing in the operations passes if they're going to be whittling it down like this. This is this is kind of silly. All right, one more of the basic ones. Yeah, here we go. We'll get ourselves another, uh, yeah, we'll get another amplifier of some sort. There we go. Nuclear amplifier. Uh, definitely more I can add to my uh, arsenal there. Okay, let's go ahead and do one of the uh, silver crates. And of course, I don't have any of the other ones, so that's those. We're not going to be seeing those until halfway through the event, I don't think. So let's go ahead and give this a rip here. Well, I like to get the armadillo. I got plenty of pilots, right? Let's let's hope for it. Yeah, I got the armadillo drone. One more to add to my arsenal of drones, which I can't level up yet because I don't have enough microchips. All right, guys, uh, let's go ahead and hop into some gameplay, have a little fun, and see if we can't land on the Yam map. Alrighty guys, let's give this a rip here. I've been trying to hop into several, I've played several matches hoping we can land on the GAM. Uh, so hopefully this one here pans out for us. I don't have to start this video over again. Uh, let's hope for it. Yes, YAM! I don't have to do the whole intro again. Uh, there we go. Let's uh, go ahead and hop out here. Uh, this is the closest thing I have to a beacon capper out here. This is a horrible map. Looks fantastic, but let's just be brutally honest guys. This is the worst map in War Robots. There's a reason why it left and didn't come back for a long, long time. People absolutely hated this map. Um, I had my first million point ma match on the Yam map many years ago. And I have a love-hate relationship with it. The only map that comes close to the kind of uh, disdain I have for this map is Springfield. Uh, this is a sniper's map, guys. Back in the day, it was Furies sitting on the far end there with trebuchets picking you off. Now it's Reapers and it's laser weapons. Uh, you're just, you're a sitting duck. Uh, if you have a brawler or a mid-range hanger, you're pretty much hosed. I mean, you're not going to get, you're not going to consistently get wins on this map. And of course, if anyone entrenches themselves in that center beacon, it's, I mean, it's kind of game over unless you start going around and trying to steal the home beacon for them. Oh my god, let me get killed, let me get killed. Oh, so close to getting the kill there. Uh, my advice to you if you're run, running the Yam map, have a balanced hanger. Have a long-range threat. Reapers, lasers, prismas, something that's going to reach out over 800 meters. Because you know what, you're going to need it. Come on, I'm not going to be able to brawl it out. Not with laser weapons. Uh, you need to have some long-range, you know, some long-range action. And of course, you're going to have to have a lot of luck. So you're going to have to have teammates that actually know what they're doing out here. Randos are probably going to tank this match for you uh, more than anything else. Because no, everyone's just going to just storm the center beacon. And you kind of have to do it as an organized charge, or you got to find a moment of vulnerability. Uh, that's why I remember from running on the uh, on the Yam map from you know a long time back. You can't just blindly charge up into it. And one bot usually isn't going to do it. You might pull it off with a Titan. If you've got a really good one, like say a Rook, something's really beasty. Uh, I have my Luchador. We'll give that a rip and see what we can do with it. Uh, if we... Man, I'm just not getting... Just not getting this center beacon cleared out here. Someone's... Yeah. So I'm just going to sit up there with a Skyros, and they're just going to sit in there. And that's just going to be where they sit the whole match. And you're kind of hosed. Because uh, this is an incredibly linear map. Think carrier map. Big, long stretch. And you either have to get behind them, or you have to get that center beacon. And if you can't get behind them or the center beacon, the game's over. That's just the way it is. 
Okay, so my basically my mid range, my my longer range threat have been eliminated. Didn't get the job done. Uh, I'm gonna try to take this center beacon by brute force, and we're going to need to do that with uh, the luchador here. Now, if I had my rook, if I had the Nessa pilot and I was leveling that up, I would run that. But since uh, all I have is the Yang, I'm not going to waste that on my rook. Okay, let's go ahead and get this guy out here. There we go. Now we can clean this out. Oh, I hit my, I hit my button up here. Oh well, I can sit here for a second. Okay, here comes ah oh, that rookie. Yeah, that's good. He hit the wall right there. If he would have gotten in the middle, it'd probably been another story. But let's go ahead and just sit there and suppress him. Now I do have my Yangli up to uh, level fifty-one now, uh, and I do uh, have you know that's multiple skills. So I have two of the three skills that come with it. Not going to get the last skill until it. Uh, I get to the very top end, 71, 71st level. And that's just not happening anytime soon here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to take it much farther than I already have as far as leveling up goes. Okay, there we go. There's a nice takedown. Let's get rid of him as well. Thank you, my buddy in blue. A little teamwork. How about that? Kind of like that. Center beacon is ours for the moment. There we go. There's a nice meaty one. Now you can get, you can grind, I believe you can grind out the Kepri now in Workshop. So you're going to see a lot more Kepris on the battlefield. And they're a nice chunk of silver. <laughs> I mean, seriously, you can bomb them out pretty good if they ain't equipped right. Uh, he's going to throw those, oh, he's got Argos up there, or Argons. Ugh, I'm not going to get behind the wall in time there. Ho, 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 he got me there with the uh, Oxys. He had the Argo and Oxy combo. Okay, this is kind of an oddball build. I saw... I saw one of the big YouTubers right? I think maybe it was Predator or Man Manny it was who's running this. I don't advise it. Uh, you need four of these to do a ton of damage. Um, but, I mean, it's it's an interesting build, and it'll keep people at bay, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit behind the ledge here. I'm going to take some shots where I can. You see, I just kind of nicked the other over the Nicked the other either over there. Other either, other either. Okay, let's go ahead get back here now the new uh i could go on i've got a rant that's going to be coming about titan pilots guys um it is definitely turned into a titan world again if you don't have a decently leveled up titan in your arsenal and say you're in champion lower champion league uh you're going to end up dropping leaks because these new titan they're new i call them new titans because it is just a monster what these things have turned into it's got a little up uh, see i can barely you know if I had this on my uh, Reaper, I probably would have done a ton of damage to that guy over there. But on this, just not going to hold up. And as you can see here, the guy's still firing. We're still waiting on, as of recording this video, we're still waiting on the nerfs to drop. Uh, I've been, uh, you know, I made a few videos right when the event started. And, you know, I didn't think it felt like the nerfs had taken effect. But the weapon nerfs have not taken effect yet. I believe the nerf for the nether has taken effect, and I think the angler nerf actually has taken effect as well. But the weapon-wise, hasn't they have not dropped that yet. That's going to be a little bit. And I think we'll get notified when that happens, because I'm seeing no changes in the rust rockets right now. And I kind of take it match by match. I don't even run them anymore, because I already know the one match I'm going to rely on them, I'm going to walk out onto the battlefield, and they're not going to work. They're going to be just nerfed into the ground, so... I'm gonna just run this one here. We're just gonna run a lot of the uh, the siphon, the you know the name, the brand new rocks. I, I don't have the names memorized yet. The brand new uh, grenade launchers, which I'm gonna tell you guys, they're they're a good weapon. But I don't think they're super overpowered. I think they're uh, you know, I think they're actually kind of balanced. The weapon in and of itself, on the right bot, they can be overpowered, but just running it by itself. I mean, seriously, look at that. I'm pounding on that. I was just smacking on that uh, Lynx down there. I mean, seriously, and I've got a, a level 12 uh, heavy-duty grenade launcher on top here and two MK2 level one, level 2 meat of the uh, light weapons on here as well. And it did, I tell you, it does some damage, but it's not hugely overpowering. Let's get in here and give this guy a little love. There we got ourselves a kill. This guy here's come on, just hold there. Hold the other a little longer. 
Now you can see he's firing his rockets off. Yeah, we definitely still are waiting for that nerf to drop on the rust rockets. Okay, come on back here. Uh, now, I've had a couple matches, guys. I didn't even want to post them, and I don't think I will. Uh, where basically we had Reapers on the far side of the battlefield and pinned us down. I mean, just shredded us to pieces. There was no way to advance. No way at all. And it was just absolutely, it was just absolutely vicious. It was like a full, uh, it was like a half clan, half rando squad, but it just seemed like everyone on the, as soon as they saw, they had their uh, hangar set up, as soon as they saw that it was this map, boy, they dropped that one hangar with all the Reapers in it. And oh my gosh, that was the most brutal match. They were over quick. Uh, one of them was over quick because we all kept charging the center or trying to get to beacons. One time it was just we all sat back and, you know, hid behind cover. That's all we could do. Because even stealth, you know, they have quantum radar. They would just pick you off. Okay, no, no, no. We're going to keep this. We're going to keep this right here. Uh, West Philly. Well, oh, here comes a Titan up there. I'm not going to stand up nose nose with that. Let's go ahead and hop over here. Now I am, I do finally have, you know, all the skills for my uh, Fenrir here. I still have to level up the last set, but uh, I'm running this uh, with the um, was it uh, quant was it the quartermaster skill? That's my last skill I picked up on this Fenrir. Trying to whittle down the price of use on that unstable conduit because it is that that is I mean seriously a beastie module to run, and this guy here's just going to keep running. This is going to be round and round we go. Um, I cannot get it up. Get loaded up. Oh, this is just going to be kind of merry-go-round right here. Give me some love. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Come on, come on back here. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on back here. But this is definitely a little tank now. With that unstable conduit, very, very tanky. Oh, dude, I worked so hard to get him. And I think he picks him off. Okie dokie. Okay, I think we've kind of covered it all here. Uh... Yeah, map. I hated it before. I hate it now. Uh, definitely, you know, it, it just is what it is. All right, guys, here we go. A quick tale of the tapes for you guys. Shout out to Camaro 77 on top, 12 by 3. Uh, I believe Camaro up there is running a long range build. Sniper pickoffs, doing a lot of range work. He did a lot of the heavy lifting up there. Uh, was able to get the center beacon with the Luchador, and that helped control the match and get us into line for a victory. Uh, seriously, the Yam map is a tactician's map. It's a sniper's map. If you're a brawler, you're not going to do well on the Yam map. You're just not. It's it's a brutal, brutal map. And uh, if the other team has, you know, there are several weapons that are going to absolutely just flourish out there. Uh, Prismas, any one of the laser weapons. Uh, and, of course, the uh, Reapers. Uh, you see those pop up, and they're on the other side. And they're in any number or quantity like two or three bots running them, running support so people can actually get across the battlefield, that's the team that's going to win. And if your team doesn't have it when you spawn, you're kind of hosed, I think. Uh, definitely, it's a whole new world when the EM map's out there. And uh, we'll see how long it takes before everyone starts dumping these matches when they uh, land in them. Because EM map was very unpopular back when it first dropped years back. It was a map we all hated, right along with Springfield. Big open maps... With sniper weapons is a nightmare for brawlers and mid-range bots or mid-range builds it's just awful okay guys time to be out here hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit that bell for notifications that way you know when i'm dropping it all right guys stay safe and healthy watch out for each other i'll catch you on the battlefield